The year was 1987. Three guys from California, all named John, set off for the East Coast. Here we are, driving through beautiful Texas. They planned to travel Fort Lauderdale to New York, New York to Chicago, and Chicago to New Orleans. All in this. John Marisu's 17-foot Boston Whaler. We're gonna make it the whole way around. They called it the only in America trip. It would cover 6,100 miles. No one was sure how long it would take. May 22nd, 1987, the very beginning of Only in America. We're on our way. People thought they were out of their minds. I can't believe you guys came all the way to here in a 17-foot Boston Whaler. Newspaper and television reporters covered them everywhere they went. This isn't a very big boat, guys, and I don't know where in the heck you're gonna sleep. They battled storms, alligators, and even snakes, all while defying the odds. Isn't this the greatest? And on September 12, 1987, they arrived in New Orleans, their journey complete. Now, 22 years later, John Marisu is determined to do it again with the same guys and the same 17-foot Boston whaler. I want to get the whaler, tow it to Fort Lauderdale, put it in the water, and go Fort Lauderdale, New York, Chicago, to New Orleans again. <laughs> All right, well, you've been drinking before noon or what? <laughs> A lot's changed in John Marisu's life since 1987. I'm in the real estate development business, and essentially what I do is I build homes. And right now, we're in a real estate recession, and nobody's building homes. I'm discouraged. I'm discouraged because every time I pick up a newspaper, it's bad news. I have to prove that America hasn't changed, that we're still the good people I know that are out there. Clearly, I have the doubt, because I have this trip pulling me to do it again. This summer, the three of us have not been on that boat together since we stepped off of it in New Orleans. John will search America. I can't think of any other way to do it, and I'm just tired of being discouraged. In hopes of finding himself. You have two kids. You have a house. You don't go relive your glory days to make sure that America is OK. John's been not quite himself, so I think maybe he's thinking that this trip might cheer him up a little bit. Hey, hey, how about this, huh? Doing it again. They each have their reasons. We envisioned being probably a little more successful individually. So we, yeah, we'll do it again. I mean, just inherently by arriving in an area that you know absolutely nobody, and you have to make instant friends with a complete stranger. Every day is just a complete adventure. They each have their fears. My knees, my back, they're not like they used to be. And they each have their hang-ups. What I love about the whaler, may sound strange, but the whaler is one of the best friends that I have. It would be a tough call what he loves more, his family, his kids, his wife, his parents, his sister, or the boat. John Marisu truly is discouraged. And I know that he says that he wants to go rediscover America, but I'm not so sure it's not John Marisu trying to rediscover John Marisu. Yet on the other hand, that trip has taught me more about life than anything I've ever done. It's the ultimate road trip in a boat. This boat looks a lot smaller than it did 20 years ago. <laughs> you know, these guys can joke all they want, but they need this trip as much as I do, maybe even more. They just don't know it yet. Fort Lauderdale, here we come, guys. Let's go. If Route 50 is the backbone of America, then these waterways are its arteries. Why do you want to do this trip? Why not? <laughs> I'm looking at that small boat thinking to myself, wait a minute, why am I not doing this trip in a 50-foot Hatteras? It goes back to John Marisu again, trying to paint that same picture and frame it the exact same way. I understand I'm risking a lot by taking this trip, but I believe in my heart by not taking it, I'm risking a whole lot more. But can a three-month journey of self-discovery make you the man you aspire to be? I hope I'll come back with a renewed sense that the problems we have are temporary. I plan on sending video shots home every night, writing letters to the kids, explaining what I'm finding as I'm going along the way. I want to reaffirm the foundation of America is strong. A perfect example is the story that happened on the first trip as we're cruising down the Illinois River. Apparently we'd had a little bit too much fun in Chicago because we were just out of cash. 
and now we're in this diner in Peoria. And we asked the waitress if it's possible to put a cash advance on our credit card. And she says, oh, are you out of money? I could loan you some money. And I just taken it back. I said, well, I, how do you propose we pay you back? And she says, well, when do you get the chance you can write a check or something? Here's this woman living paycheck to paycheck, and she is ready to loan three strangers money on the promise that they'd write her a check. And that's the America that I found when I was driving around the United States in the boat. Join them each week as they retrace their steps and once again dock in the same towns in search of the American spirit. I really want to meet the people of America again. It's going to be awesome. Inspired by John Marisu's self-published account of the first trip, titled Only in America. It's physically demanding to go 100, 150 miles a day in a 17-foot boat. So that's certainly one thing that will be tested. At one point, I think everybody in their life dreams of taking a trip like this. People are able to read the book and say, wow, this is what was out there. They also want to know what's out there now. A theme that goes through the emails is, do you think it'd still be the same? So I think I'm not the only one who's discouraged. I'm not the only one who wants to know that the foundation of our country is strong. And this is one way to go out there and find out. I hope we discover that other people may join us along the way because they're going to see that we're going to go to these places you maybe can only get to in a 17-foot Boston Whale. And they're going to want to join us and discover what I know that's out there. bathroom no matter where it is or what type it is we're just gonna have to stop so you guys can go can't you take a pill for that or something i might need some new crew members